Hello students, in our previous classes, we have finished the topic that is pronouns. And today, we are proceeding to our new topic that is articles. Now, first of all, let me tell you what is an article. An article is a word that combines with a noun to indicate the type of reference being made by the noun. The articles in the English language are the and a or an. So students, an article is a word that you should always write before a noun which signifies the type of the noun. And we have three articles in English and they are a and sorry n and the. Now let me tell you the types of article. So students, we can categorize the articles into two categories and they are definite article and indefinite article. So the article which falls under the definite category is the and the uh, articles which comes under the indefinite article are a and n. And in our today's class, we shall discuss about the indefinite articles which are a and n. Now, first of all, let me tell you the uses of a. Number one, we use a before common nouns which are singular in number and begin with consonant sounds. Say for example, a boy, a toy, a pen, etc. So students, before uh, telling any uses of A or N, let me tell you one main thing that is the distinction between A and N falls mainly upon the consonant and the vowel sounds in English. And I hope that you all know what are the consonants and vowel sounds. Still, let me remind you once again. So in English alphabets, there are five, five vowel sounds they are a e i o and u and except these five vowel sounds or vowel letters the other remaining 24 21 letters are our cons consonant letters and the article a mainly connected with these consonant sounds and our number one rule also tells us the same thing. So, in the examples that have been mentioned in uses, use number one, that are boy, toy, pen, all are common nouns and singular in number, as well as they have started with consonant sounds. That's why we have put A before these nouns. Now, let me proceed to number two. We put A before the nouns which starts with U but stand, sorry, sounds as U. Say for example, a utensil, a university, etc. So students, whenever a word starts with U, say for example, umbrella, the initial letter that is U is pronounced as a, ah, but here they, in the examples, the words that have been started with U, but they have been pronounced as U, not A. Ah. That's why as the pronunciation here is somehow exceptional than the general one, that's why we have to put A before this word, although they have started with a vowel sound or a vowel letter. Now, number three point. We put A before the nouns which starts with letter O but sounds like wa. Say for example, a one rupee note, a one-eyed monster, etc. So students, say, um, if I uh, just remember one word that starts with O that is orange. Here the you know, pronunciation of the first letter that is O is um, as O. But here, in the example that have been mentioned in point 3, say for uh, are 
वन रूपी वन आइट हियर द प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ ओ इज नॉट लाइक एज ओ बट हियर इट इज प्रोनाउंसड एज वा मीन्स देर देर प्रोनाउंसिएशन आर सम हाउ एक्सेप्शनल देन द जनरल इन दिस एग्जाम्पल्स दैट्स वाई वी हैव टू पुट ए बिफोर दिस वर्ड्स इवन दो दे आर वावल साउंड सो है स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर द मेन थ्री यूजेस ऑफ द अर्टिकल ए दे आर फॉर आफ्टर रीडिंग ऑल दिस यूजेस वी हैव टू गॉट द आइडिया दैट ए इज ऑल्सो यूज बिफोर नाउंस दैट बिगिन विद अ वावल बट हैज अ कॉन्सनेंट साउंड so i hope you have understood the uses of a now let me proceed to the uses of n so the first use is we put n before the singular common nouns which starts with vowel sounds for example an eagle an egg etc here students the words eagle and egg they are common nouns singular as well as they have started with the vowels that is e that's why we have put n before them it means that students a is entrusted with the consonant sounds whereas n is entrusted with the vowel sounds now number 2 point we use n before the word which starts with h but sounds like o say for example an honest man so students let me give an another example say for example honey here the word honey has been started with a consonant sound h and it is pronounced as her but here honest here this word is also started with a consonant sound that is h but it is pronounced as o here the h is silent it is not pronounced but that's why we have to put n before it not a so students this number 2 is exceptional in case of pronunciation that's why we have put the n before it so students i hope you have understood the general uses of n and from this two examples uh, sorry this two uses we have to got the idea that n is also used before nouns that begin with a consonant sound but have a vowel sound uh, you can easily see this assumption in number 2 use where the word honest has been started with a consonant letter but it is pronounced as a vowel letter so students here is the end of today's discussion in tomorrow's class i will give you the uses of definite article that is the and students here are your home assignments for today's class please try to do it by yourself thank you so much